Space Colonization – Future or Fantasy? Since Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon on the 20th of July 1969 and declared one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, people have been dreaming about creating futuristic communities in space. Science fiction films such as Star Wars have filled our minds with images of spacecraft travelling at the speed of light to colonies on other planets in other solar systems. Until now, these ideas have just been fantasy. But now, leading scientists say that colonising space is the only answer for the future survival of mankind. But is space colonisation really possible? One solution would be for us to move to space stations orbiting near Earth. After all, astronauts have already been living on NASA's International Space Station continuously since 2000. The ISS gets its power from solar panels. It generates its own oxygen and even recycles water. But there's still a huge problem. All of its food and other supplies have to be sent from Earth. Humans would need to be self-sufficient to survive in space long term. So maybe colonising the Moon would be a better solution. The Moon has rich resources which could be used to construct a colony. Also, in 2009, scientists found water on the Moon, which could be used to extract oxygen for breathing. However, there is no atmosphere on the Moon, and it is boiling hot during 13 days of sunlight, and then freezing cold during 13 days of darkness so any human colony there would have to live in a huge indoor biosphere. What about looking for Earth-like planets to colonise? Even if we found the perfect planet, we might not be able to get there at the moment. It would take over 700,000 years to get to Alpha Centauri, the closest star system. If we were able to travel just below the speed of light, we could reach the next star to Earth in just six years. So although there are many challenges to overcome, it may just be a matter of time before we are living in space.